This video is sponsored by Pokedownstore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. If you're looking for the new Rebel Clash booster packs, they also have those on stock, so definitely check them out, Pokedownstore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How cool is that? What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're going to be playing with Sandaconda V. This is a, a good typing to uh, say the least, it is a weak to grass. Grass doesn't see a lot of play in the metagame right now thanks to Wilder decks and all that. So that's very very good. So uh, that means we don't have to worry about the weakness and we have additional uh, yeah, fighting type meaning we hit weakness against Speakeram, against Toxtricity, against the Dennis on the bench. So that's fantastic to start off with. We have Sand, either its first attack being able to smack 30 damage and accelerating a fighting energy from the discard pile to this Pokemon. The good news is that we do have Diancy Prism Star still in the format being able to get of course 20 extra damage for our fighting types which turns into a 50 damage attack uh, while accelerating energies. Then next turn we can actually uh, get 220 damage with this amazing Pokemon. We have of course the Diancy that's 240 damage and then uh, if we're behind in prize cards that's 280. So against things like ADP Zation we can actually uh, one hit KO the uh, Arceus Dialga Palkia which is awesome. We also have some fire types in here. Um, Mainly Ante, if something got knocked out during the opponent's last turn, we can smack 120 damage, which is just perfect to one-shot things like Zacian. We do have Tool Scrapper to get rid of annoying Metal Frank Pants, and then we have Ninetales V being able to do the exact same thing for Lucario Mel Metal, as well as providing the Ninetales Shapeshifter, also good against mill decks to copy research management, etc. So a very versatile card. The reason why we're not running Victini V is that we're not running a lot of fire energies, only four of them in here, but we have Energy acceler Acceleration thanks to Colossal being able to use the ability Tar Generator, and uh, once during our we may attach a fire energy and a fighting energy to one of uh yeah from the discard pile to uh pokemon in any way we like so we don't even have to be on the bench for that to work so this very amazing ability we're gonna get this out with rare candy and uh, with the help of quick ball and communications we're gonna get this uh, cute roly coly on the bench as early as turn one acrobikes is something i do like because if you get energies in the discard pile it does help out with the energy acceleration and then for uh, the mellow and lana it's in here for the dracapult matchup but uh, it could be cut it for something else since uh, we are also running only two copies of bosses orders so hopefully that will be enough we do have one copy of great catcher so we're gonna see if this deck has uh, some untapped potential so uh hopefully you guys are stoked for this video if you are be sure to show your support by spamming that like button you know i always appreciate that and it helps out the channel more than you would think so uh, let's go with sanda conda colossal so two new pokemon introduced in uh, sword and shield so we're gonna see how this develops we're probably up against Picaram, which is good. Uh, we are a fighting type, so we're gonna make quick work of uh, Picaram. Uh, we don't have Mew in our uh, uh, on the bench, which shouldn't be a problem. We're gonna go first. The reason why we're going first is so we can get this energy acceleration up and maybe a second turn uh, amazing attack. So we have two Roller Collies. We have... Yeah, that's actually not bad. We have lots of switches in the deck. We also have a Candy, so we can go first. So we're firstly... Yeah, the opponent already says hello, so we're gonna say hello back. Let's use Acrobike first, finding ourselves the Dene. Ooh. Ooh, and a rare candy in the discard pile. Yeah, it's a little bit tricky. A little bit tricky, I, I have to be honest here. So I'm actually gonna smack all of them down. We could go for an insane the Danny here, but if we whiff on the a rare candy, that will be sad. I'm gonna wait, maybe we top deck. Um, yeah, we also didn't get the first turn attachment of the turn. I'm actually gonna set up a Sandaconda immediately. Just gonna go for the Danny. I know the Danny is can be a liability, but going quicker with this deck is probably the best bet. Okay, we have uh, communication which we are not able to use unfortunately so we can yeah also no energies in this card pal that's sad so sad okay we can attach somewhere we can uh, reattach them later so just gonna attach here and uh, that's gonna be that so we didn't find sandaconda on turn one which is a, a bummer the opponent probably is playing picaram and uh, a picaram player will probably get a first turn full blitz off oh no they don't they just have zero aura and that's that another rare candy in the discard pal Okay, I really don't want to do that, but I think uh, I'm just going to go for the Cynthia. Let's go with that. Okay, the opponent seems to be breaking hard. Okay, we have Ante. We have a Quick Ball, so that is at least comfortable to know. So let's get this fella up and rolling. Get an energy on Sandaconda. And uh, we should have enough stuff in the deck yet, so we can actually Quick Ball for another Dedane if need be. And uh, set up our uh, evolution here. There's already, like, no energies in the discard pile, so we're probably going to have to, like, manually retreat as an option. Stadium Navigator, what does he get? Tender Mountain? Probably should have done that earlier, but maybe that was a stub deck, right? You never know. You never know what happens in the world of TCGO. TCGO shuffles could be legit. There's Thunder Mountain, he can slap that down. Could go for the uh, yeah, 
our fighting stadium is gone though so we only smacked 220 is he gonna use everything electro power electro powers maybe he had oh the Dene. okay he topped back the Dene. maybe he didn't want to use the Dene. how many boss orders are in there two of them oof that's nuts either way we are looking good this guy also has a huge amount of hp which means he either has to tag bolt without the uh, side effects or he just has to have like four elect actually three electro powers to say at least two of them gets him to 210 so we're safe since there's already two electro powers in the discard pile our santa conda will easily survive any hit that comes from the picaram stellar wishing he probably also has access to marnie if he marnie us, that would be kind of huge at this point, we're looking good. We also don't need anti in this matchup, so I'm gonna get out another Sandaconda. And uh, we just have to find our boss's order. So I think I will just go for, yeah, research, send another Sandaconda down, and we should be good, right? Even if he starts attacking with this fella, we can respond immediately, and we hit for weakness, which is insane. And we don't even need the weakness entirely, because we can also get Diancy out. So, yeah, weakness is irrelevant, but still a nice treat, nevertheless. Okay, we have the Danny in hand, okay. I'm actually gonna get rid of this energy. Probably gonna be able to reaccelerate it anyhow. Yeah, let's get Diancy Prism Star up in this place. Also, not gonna rely on another Dedene. And uh, let's just go for the research. Finding herself. Energy, communication. Okay, there we go. We are not able to get out of the active position, though. How many energies in here? There's one in there. Too bad. First things first, communication is life. Let's get our energy accelerator up and rolling. Colossal and let's go with rare candy Colossal can actually accelerate energies but he needs way too much energies he needs four of them and we apparently don't have any so we can actually accelerate energies with Sandaconda that is an option I'll leave this guy just in the active position as it is yeah it's probably fine probably fine okay let's attach here we can use the ability we are still stuck in the active position, however. Yeah, let's just accelerate the energy to this fella. And yeah, we have an energy in hand, so we might as well retreat. Do something else. Nah, no, let's just stick it at this. We have an energy, so we can retreat. I'm just gonna give it here. We can accelerate that later down the line. Unless he has every combo and just goes for the tag bolt on Santa Conda V is also an option, but we still have like lots of ways we can go about it. Okay, we need to find boss's orders at this point so we can uh, make quick work of Picaram. The opponent is actually not in a good position. He, yeah, another Electro Power. Electro Power could save him if he has like an attachment, energy switch, boss's orders. But seeing as there's two boss's orders in his discard pile, I'm pretty uh, reassured here. He could also go for Eldigo's V. And uh, if he gets rid of that, we can actually set up uh, just another one of these Colossals. Being able to snack 130 is also an option. Two Electro Powers going down. And there's the research. Okay, this Pika Run player is uh, probably not uh, happy that his uh, Tisha Joke Shuffles happen. Big Charm, adding the HP up to 270. That means we will hit yeah, enough damage as it is. Okay. Quick Balls again. Tool Scrapper. We're going to get quick work of that uh, Big Charm. We can Quick Ball. Something that we don't need anymore, like this fella. And go for Cynthia. Let's see, what are we able to get? Fire and an energy, okay. <clears throat> that fire energy is kind of important. Let's retreat. He's not gonna be able to one-shot our Sandaconda anyhow, which is totally awesome. Yeah, we still have switches left, and we even have Mellow and Lana. So let's just go for the Sand Breath knocking this fella out he will of course be able to uh one shot us if he has like another boss's orders he can one shot our colossal although he will still need to use his gx move for that and we still have a candy left so let's just knock him out okay 240 we're gonna get rid of the fire energy and the fighting energy we can reattach them anytime we want with colossal yeah let's take a prize card it is a fighting energy it's fine what now Thunder Mountain still live, so he can still go for two shots and the Kanda while knocking out the Dene. This is the speed lightning energy, getting him two cards. Even if he starts attacking with this fella, he's done for immediately. So that's good. We also have Marnie to get rid of his huge hand. Let's see here. Three quick balls in the discard. I'm sad that the great great catcher is gone because now we need to knock out a tag team. But anyhow, we would hit for weakness anyhow. 
Even so, we still, our biggest damage is 240, so this Picaram has a low amount of HP, we have Tool Scrapper, so at this point, we have not benefited of the uh, weakness just yet. Tapu Koko going into the Discard Pile, probably gonna be seeing Tapu Koko Prism Star, okay. Either way, if we knock out the, the Picaram, we get 3 prize cards. That's a lot, right? Imagine. 3 prize cards is where it's at. Bolton, be able to uh, dish out more damage. Okay. Only having 200 HP though. We still have uh, Quick Ball and more Sandakanas to go around. How many switches in our discard pile? Only one. Can you believe it? We have Mellow and Lana to heal up damage as well. So even if he smacks 150, I wonder what he's gonna do. Sacrifice Mars Shadow? Just use another big charm coming down. Okay. Now it's tricky because we need Diancy Prism Star for the weakness. Uh, right now we smack. Yeah, we, we don't, don't even need Diancy Prism. He's weak to fighting. I keep forgetting. Here comes the Marnie. We have Colossal Bosses Orders and Fighting Dojo getting rid of the Thunder Mountain Prism Star. Okay. I'll, I dig it. The good news about Colossal here is Desert State. Once during your turn, you may attach a Fire Energy. Uh, fighting Energy to one of your... From this to one of the Pokemon anyway. Like, that's just so insane. Okay, we got smacked with damage. And he's gonna accelerate some energies. Bolton is gonna be able to finish off. Okay, zero aura. Fine. Okay, we have a research and a boss's orders. I think at this point we just use the tar generator. Fire and fighting. Two are active. That is way better than Malamar. Let's be honest. And next uh, next we just smack down the martial arts dojo. We still have one boss's orders left in the deck, so let's just safely, although. In this scenario, we still have another one of the Sandakandas anyhow, so let's do this. Ta -ta 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 -ta. We even have a communication, that's good. Acrobatic, another research, okay. Don't need that fire energy, just get the research instead. We can attach wherever we want, so we can have another attachment. I finished the deal right there, but we do have switch. Yeah, that could have been our win condition. That could have been, as long as this Pokemon is on the bench, okay. How many energies do we have left? To work with tree over there yeah i'm just gonna attach here yeah we'll just attach here we can get out another colossal anyhow so that's gonna be good and we get three prize cards anyway boom let's get it uh fire gone away fighting gone away so we have communication so as long as he doesn't use marnie we should be good he can reset stand though but we are so far ahead in the prize race that it will not matter anyhow so we have two attackers at this point. If he knocks out Colossal, we can communication, use another rare candy to get another Colossal up. This is an attacker, this is an attacker, we have boss's order. So this should be game. Unless he resets stamps or Marnie's us, we should be totally fine. So this is an anti-meta deck, being able to prey on the weakness of Picaram. Picaram, one of the more powerful and uh, most popular decks in the format right now. Very nice to see that uh, Rogue Archetypes also work. Sandakanda V. So at this point, he knocks this fella out, and we knock out a V Pokemon. Maybe he can paralyze us. I don't know. What is what is he planning? So many energies in play, though. How many energy switches in his discard pile? Probably only one. Only one. Okay. If he full blitzes again, it could be dangerous. He gets two prize cards, but <laughs> it's it's hopeless for the opponent at this point. Here comes the Bolton V, being able to smack for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 190 damage. That is not bad, right? 190. Did any as well? Okay. Probably will hunt on our Colossal. If I'm being honest, he needs to do that. Or maybe he's hunting for a reset stamp. Marnie, okay. Our rare candy gone. We have switch, we have an energy, it's fine. Bolt Storm taking the KO. Yeah, I'm actually gonna showcase that you can send up a Sandakanda immediately out of nowhere. So we're not hitting on this guy's weakness. Let's just slap this down. Use the ability. Tar Generator. One, two. Wow, this deck functions way too good. Better than I would initiate it. Actually expect. Let's go. Well played. Let's go. Sand Breath. Wow, this combo works so well. It's unreal. It is unreal. We just card energies, we get them back, so we don't have to worry about the energy count. And let's go. We're gonna be playing another round. Uh, against Pikaram, we have an automatic W. 
Wow, that's on the condo dish it out too. 1220 damage. Insane. Are you ready for one more round with Sanda Kanda V? Or maybe another round if it's a, a quick one. Let's see how it develops. Okay, we're looking for an opponent who is ready to face our fighting type deck with Sanda Kanda V and Colossal. Okay, we found an opponent. Uh, we are facing off against. Hmm. Psychic. Could this be Dracapult? If it is, I'm a little bit scared. Although we smacked 220 on the second turn, if we can get our stuff rolling. Lost the coin flip. Not good. Hi, victory team. One, two, three. Hello. We are very happy about that as well. Again, if it's Dracapult, smacking these guys up is not probably the best idea. We're just gonna leave it at this. Maybe he mar. Yeah, he cannot marnie us. It's fine. Let's see what we're up against first. Coughing. Okay, wheezing, wheezing. Uh, will it be the Roxy wheezing? As it is right now, this is probably gonna be the wheezing that uses twin energy and uh, has the ability putting damage counters across the field. We'll see. Yeah, this is actually not bad. Getting so many energies in the discard pile is always a nice treat for us. So let's go. Don't not not gonna smack down everything because if he has a Roxy combos don't like that okay we have boss's orders we have an acrobike acrobike first research for later okay that's fine we're probably gonna get a sandaconda second turn 220 off hey we still have access to the research because we used it any that's fantastic communication what might we possibly need an ente a diancy prism star Diancy Prism Star buffing up the damage. And research. Okay, we have a switch so we can accelerate on our own without having to rely on another one of these fellas. Rah, Sand Aconda, Sand Eater. 60 damage. Yeah, it's one damage counter short. So maybe playing a Galarian Zigzagoon in this list would not be a bad idea. Then we like knock this guy out. He can still have access to Stellar Wish, which is the annoying part. If this, these guys turn into like 160 HP monsters, we shouldn't be afraid of like... Oh, ability blocking Galarian Zig... Okay, severe poison and stuff. We do have Switch, so... Okay, that is a little scary. Our abilities get deactivated, so no longer we're gonna rely on Dedane. Applin. Flapple. Okay, this is a, a weird deck. I like it already. Okay, so much variety in the TCGO uh, right now. Quick bowl. I was. I thought it was the other Galer. Uh, yeah, wheezing. I think it's the one from Unbroken Bonds. Could be wrong though. What is this guy able to do? Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Put four damage counters. Ooh, between turns, four damage counters. Interesting. So we are in an ability lock, so we're gonna have to go for... Is this guy weak to fighting? Yes, he is. But Diancy doesn't work thanks to this guy. He's gonna put us in a severe, nasty situation. Abilities have been blocked though. We got four damage counters, which is sad. Okay, we can check our deck here. How many bosses orders do we have? Okay, there seems to be one priced. It's funny. We're not able to rely on these guys. Unfortunately, we do have switch, so huh, what to do about this? He only has three cards in the hand, right? Fire energy is in the discard pile, two of them already. Two of them already. Yeah, I think I will just knock this guy out so we have access to our abilities once again. 400 and bazillion damage, that's insane. We are still poisoned though, so next turn we're gonna have to uh, think about something. What, whatever he's gonna promote. Here's Cynthia. We are still poisoned, so that's gonna add up very quickly. No abilities are being able to get use of. Okay, we can also rely on Diancy Prism Star at one point if we can get... Okay, Flapple Flapple. Double Flapple. Once during the turn, they can actually spread so much damage around. He can have... Yeah, at this point we will have access to abilities, which is awesome. So I think I will just Marnie him. Yeah, Great Ball as well. 
<laughs> Unless he has like access to another Weezing. Hopefully that is not the case. Ah, Weezing being able to prevent us from using abilities. Very busted if I'm being honest. We actually need to set ourselves up. Marnie again. Oh go. Our switch guard is gone. Interesting development. He needs to be in the active position though. Hmm. Interesting. No abilities. Heal 30 damage from each of your bench Pokemon. Okay, I'm actually gonna try and use Diancy Prism Star at one point. Yeah, he's just gonna do nothing. Yeah, 4 damage. It's fine. It is totally fine. Okay, I'm actually gonna set this fella up. Or we can two-shot him with a Sand Eater attack. Anyhow. Interesting development. Yeah. I'm gonna heal off some damage with this guy. Rare candies. Lots of candies though. Getting rid of the fire energy. Getting ourselves Sand Conda. And we're actually gonna use communication on that. Colossal is here. Another Colossal is here. Candy. Boom. Candy. He doesn't seem to have set up uh, a wheezing here. Sand Eater. <sighs> yeah, he's very happy that his ability block is still in play. Maybe if we had Fionn or Bossasaurus, we can actually start using our abilities. But Bossasaurus is in the prize cards, unfortunately. Good news is... Yeah, if we find Switch, Sandaconda and Energy, we can still start rolling again. Yeah, the Flapples are a little bit annoying. Apple Drop. Okay, here comes the Apple Drop. We get knocked out, it's fine. I wonder what we should do. This uh, blocking abilities is so busted. Uh, yeah, he can he can keep using those flapples. Turn, turn again. Doesn't seem to have set up another coughing. So if we are able to one shot this guy, we will have access to our abilities once again. Yeah, take those two prize cards. Here comes Colossal. Okay, two Cynthia's. Why not? What do we get? Tool scrapper stuff. Skateboard. We have the Dene. Do we use the Dene? Sandaconda. 60. Yeah, we're not gonna get it anyhow. <laughs> Tool scrapper. Get rid of that. The Dene. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh wow. This is hilarious. Yeah, we are ability blocked. I did not even expect that. Only take a power plant, power plant, but no, this locks everything up. Very fine. This deck is also insane. Crushing hammer as well. Okay, not having access to anything at this point. Mm-hmm. This guy knows what he's doing. Acid spray. Cynthia as well. Okay, Galarian Weezing pretty much shutting down our entire deck. Everything has abilities. Did any? Dark generator. Not that it matters too much here in this scenario, but yeah, we're gonna get toxic poison, severe poison again. And uh, yeah, with energy denial and us not getting back the energies, I think it will be rough. Cynthia! Energies. No energies around. Do we even have energies left? I'm gonna check this out. We have two energies left and Mellow and Lawn as well. Okay. Let's have a little bit of hope <laughs> while our Colossal gets wrecked. Galarian Weezing so busted. We've seen it against Picaram that it was fantastic. But against this match, I don't know. There's not a lot we can do. We're, yeah, we're totally stuck. He needs to stay in the active position though. Severe poison. 
He's gonna be able to use Flapple's turn and turn again. I don't know if this deck is working out against other archetypes. Thinking about ADPization or whatever. I don't know. Even Pokemon Navigator? What? Okay. How many energies in the Vesca pile? Like eight of them already. At one point, if we had boss doors, we can like drag the, somebody else in the active position so we can use the abilities twice, get all the energies back in play. That's gonna be a hard one. It's gonna be a hard ditto as well. Popping up, so probably our Colossal will not survive. Severe poison again. Okay. What now? Rare candy? Yeah, Marnie it is. Mm hmm. Okay, with the Fighting Dojo, we will have an edge here, so let's not uh, say anything. He could have Crushing Hammers again. Our fella will go down, unfortunately. We don't have Switch. Ah. Yeah, we don't have Switch. This guy will just get knocked out. Let's smack down this fella. Attach pass. We get knocked out. Thanks to the poison. Thank you. We do have Mellow and Lana. So I think I will just promote this. Let us get poisoned. And we do have Mellow and Lana to follow up if, we, if things get severe. Really need to find... Yeah, another <laughs> wheezing pops up. We need to find our boss's orders so we can get energies back in play. That's gonna be the most important, crucial part here. I think I will just accelerate energies to... Yeah, this guy's gonna be a lot to set up. Great ball again. The Flapples. Reminds me of the Sidewise. So our item uh, ability blocked while well, he's spreading damage around. Three Weezings! This is insane. Research. Okay, he's all, he can never deck out thanks to these flapples though. Ah, our stadium card is gone. We're not going to be able to one-shot this guy anymore. Unless we get another stadium card. But this is getting ridiculous. Crushing Hammer. Tails. Yeah, we should have kept on to that martial arts dojo. The drops are coming. <laughs> this is funny. Yeah, we're gonna only get smack. We're not gonna smack enough damage. That's the silly part. Only 60. We needed that stadium card. Should have kept it in the hand. I was afraid of like another Marnie. We already used three Marnies though, so should have waited. Severe poison. Either way, we would have gotten destroyed here. Thanks to ability block. Pretty annoying. Switches. And Sand Eater. Bam! <laughs> Still not getting the KO. Is insane. We would have gotten the KO if I didn't slap down the stadium. How many Turfield stadiums is he running? Three of them. That's also ridiculous. Hmm. More of these guys. He's gonna 40. Yeah, we can actually heal that damage up with Mallow and Lana later. So we can finally take this guy out. Severe poison. Hey. We get some more damage across the field. So. Yeah, as a little surprise. <laughs> what did we do? What did we do? Yeah. That was not good. You have a good deck. And we're just gonna get out of this... Uh, Ability Log Madness. We're gonna be playing another game with Sanda Kanda. We did some weird stuff in there. We should have used Melonon. Either way, he would have gotten the upper hand. He only needed three more prize cards. We would have gotten Severe Poisoned again. And we still need to take five more prize cards, which would have been insane. Okay. That was a weird deck. Let's go out with one last bang. And we're up against, if I had to guess, Picaram or a Zacian deck. We lost the coin flip. It's fine. Let the opponent go first. We can maybe get an attack off with Sandaconda. Oh, we can go first. Thank you. That makes me think it's a Picaram deck. Or a Turbozation list. 
all of these decks will do fine. Okay. Done. Sand the start. Fine. We're also probably gonna have to rely on the Dene, seeing as we only have communication in this fella. So we can uh, draw into a uh, Roly Coley. First things first, Acrobike, finding herself a Cynthia. Interesting. Attachment over here. Communication. Let's get rid of this fella. Getting herself a Roly Coley. And we're gonna wait with the Fighting Dojo. We're gonna wait with that. Because we actually hit weakness at this point. He thinks, I'm gonna survive, yeah. He's gonna survive, he has the Grass Weakness instead of Fighting Weakness. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Scoop up net? Luxray. Okay, this is a, a weird Luxray deck, so everybody's playing out weird rogue decks. Luxray is able to slap 160, being able to one-shot us if he gets two Electra Powers. Quick ball. You can also put us in an item lock. If he if he goes second, he can evolve into Luxio immediately. We will be in an item lock, not being able to get out Roll or Colossal. Okay, switch again. Very scary. The good news is Luxio is in his discard pile. Did he use any supporters just yet? Not yet. Quick ball again. Does he have the Denias in his list? I wonder. We need to get out our Colossal as soon as possible. Shinx can evolve immediately. Will he have Luxio? Oh no! Will we get item locked? Okay, we don't get item locked. But this guy's weak against us, so we one-shot that with this fella. Uh, okay, we probably have the ways to use Cynthia and find more rare candy, so we're gonna do that. Although getting research would have gotten us more resources. Not really. Not really. Okay. Energy there. Sand Conda number two. Colossal number two. Yeah, or maybe Diancy Prism Star. Right now, we're still in the same scenario where we only smack 60 damage. So, Galarian Zigzagoon, definitely a good consideration, if I'm being honest. Really need to evolve a ASAP, so that's why we're doing the Dene. Rare Candy and Colossal. No Rare Candy in sight, unfortunately. We're gonna Quick Ball away the Fire Energy. Finding ourselves Diancy Prism Star. Come on, candy. Yeah, rare candy party. Let's go. That's why we're playing four candies and the Dennis and a research so we can get all this stuff up and rolling. Thor generator. I need, yeah, might as well attach two energies, right? So we can get this attack off twice. Diancy Prism Star on the bench. We do have lots of switches left, so it's fantastic. Let's go, Sand Breath. <sighs> Even if he shuts down abilities for whatever reason, <laughs> it could happen. And we've seen it before with uh, that Galarian Weezing. All right, let's draw one card. Acrobike. <laughs> Funny. If he evolves, he smacks 160. He needs two Electra Powers. He has Research. Electra power number one. Research. Okay, it's getting a little scary. I'm getting a little bit afraid. If he has one more Electra power, he can knock out Santa Conda. And then we will be in a problem where we don't have energies. Lightning speed energy. He needs to get this guy the active position and he needs to use another Electra power to one shot us. Ranguru might provide that for him. Definitely should have attached that energy over here with the uh, Colossal. Yeah, definitely. We have an attach of the turn. So, what can we do? Sand Eater smacks 30 damage, 60 damage in total. Fighting Dojo providing us with 10 extra damage. Communication. Luxray. Or Dedene. He's putting back Ditto Prism Star. Interesting. Luxio. 
So two Luxios popping up. Another Shinx probably doesn't get this guy at the active position. Or does he? Item lock? Evolution? Yeah, just putting us in an item lock. It's totally fine, bro. Yeah, let's use the tar generator. One, two, and we will accelerate them. We do have fighting dojo. This guy has only 80 HP, so we might as well attach them both to this fella. And then go for the Sand Eater KO. And attach this guy with another energy. So at this point, everybody is prepared. We were in an item lock though. Marnie. What now? This guy smacks 160. 160 will be enough to one-shot us. That's the perfect math, actually. So we're gonna see Luxray. He already wasted one Electro Power, which is fine. He still needs two to knock out the other Sandakana that's gonna be coming in his way. I didn't also wanted to attach energies here because if he knocks that out, our entire energy acceleration is gone. I think next turn I will accelerate to the Diancy Prism Star, I think. It's also a way to one-shot his Lux, uh, Luxray, yeah. Ditto Prism Star. How many switches in the discard pile? Two switches, one scoop up net. Probably has scoop up net to get rid of Jirachi so he can use a Luxray. All these rogue decks popping up. Okay, scoop up net as predicted. What now? What now? Okay, will he evolve him? Electro power? Research? Okay, he's gonna knock us out, but he already wasted two Electro Powers. If there's like one prize, he's not gonna be able to one shot this guy. Luxray! Look at that rate 160 damage with Electro Power 190. Interesting development. Okay. We're gonna Marnie him to a low hand size. That's probably gonna. Oh, what? Jirachi Prism Star? Are you for real? That is insane. Totally insane. Okay, at this point, we're gonna use Star Generator. Accelerate one over there. Oh yeah, we should have accelerated two of them. Why didn't I do that? Oh yeah, there was no fire energy in the discard pile. Should have quick balled it away. Either way, we need that fighting energy over there. Doesn't matter. Okay, quick ball away this. Uh, we can use Entei, which is not gonna work. Another Sandaconda. Setting this fella up. Acrobike. Cynthia. Okay. Actually gonna go for the Marnie. Candy Colossal. Okay, fine. Candy Colossal. So now it's no nece not necessary anymore to set up this uh, Diancy. Tor Generator 1, 2, accelerating them to this fella. And goodbye, Sand Eater. Already smacks 50, 60 is not enough, so Sand Breath is where it's at. Bam. That Jirachi Prism Star was very, very crazy. He can scoop up not that again with Mr. Mime, presumably. Three prize cards, three prize cards. That was just insane. And now we really need to take down Luxio. Yeah, if things go well, we actually gonna target bosses orders the ditto. We don't want to see any more Shinx because I don't think he's playing rare candy. Seeing as his list doesn't seem to uh, indicate that. He also needs two electro powers to one shot us. Ordinary Rod, he gets back some Shinx and energies. Shinx, Luxio, energies, okay. That Jirachi Prism, man. Lots of people are trying this out. If he can get the KO, while also having another Jirachi in the Prism Stars, thanks to like Mr. Mime or something. What's going on? Two switches here. Two scoop ups. Will he get Jirachi out of the active position? Interesting. Yeah, right now, Sandaconda and Sandaconda are our main threats. Actually, our main Pokemon to use here. This is a longer video than I uh, anticipated. But it is fun. Playing with Sandaconda. Fighting types for the win. 
our little shinx popping up lux race only one maybe there's some priced yeah he's just stuck in the egg fantastic and we even have mellow and lana to follow up with that so fighting we even have some switches left i'm gonna go for boss's orders on luxio yeah that's totally fine tar generator setting up another sand icon. we have two of them to work with now so this is busted here you go sand eater can actually get another energy from the discard pile i don't think yeah we don't have any left but sand eater will get the ko though so no need to uh, get rid of energies bam sand Akanda taking it over communication we have Mello and lana so he doesn't get a luxury luxury out this time Unless he has a rare candy, which could be the case. We have switches, we have Mellow and Lana. We're good. We're gonna knock something out and knock something out again. Unless he uses the, cr the full combo, he can still win. Like, he needs to scoop up this. He needs to smack down Mr. Mime. He needs to get two Electro Powers. Wow, that's a whole lot to ask for, right? If any of these cards are priced, the combo doesn't work. But I would love to see him do it, though. Electro Power number one. Okay, scratch that. We have Mallow and Lana. There's no way he can get the KO if he has another Electro Power, but he doesn't have a Luxray. Yeah, that's where we're going with this. Third Electro Power gone. We won this game. Ordinary Rot. Unless he pops up a rare candy out of nowhere, smacks down an energy, gets a switch, gets a full combo. It's still possible. Okay, two energies right there. Will uh, the Jirachi still be? can still get the combo off if he nah, he's not, never gonna be able to one shot us with electro powers gone I wonder boss's orders we still have one left though stuck in the active cool he can also go after the Danny here which is a uh, Danny full combo shenanigans it is possible yeah for now let's just go with the sand breath knocking one out again one two reminds me so much of vikavol but this time around you get everything back come on we have fighting dojo again okay what now the things he need he needs luxury the full combo wombo scoop up net with jirachi and he needs to knock it it's gonna happen he's gonna use boss's orders on our Dene. it's gonna happen folks Oh boy. Ah, yeah, it would be great for the opponent. He's gonna do it, knocking out the Dene. But as seen, Sandakanda does work very consistently. So scoop up net again. Mr. Mime again. Primate Wisdom. Mr. Mime. Yeah, Jirachi's in the Enterprise cards. He needs Luxray and he needs at boss's orders. That's gonna be insane. Wow, well pl well played. He has a good deck. I, did, I didn't expect Jirachi Prism Star to mess up our strategy. But still, it was fun playing around with Santa Conda. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to mash the like button. As always, uh, subscribe for more content. And I'll be seeing you guys very shortly. So uh, yeah, stay fresh, stay safe. Peace out.